Hi, we're back with another episode of Emerald Television. I'm Douglas Phillips. I'm Susan Gudenkopf. And we're currently in the labs in Copenhagen. Back in San Francisco last month, we did a really in-depth review of the labs. Lots of interesting stuff happening there. So we're going to go see if anything's changed here in Copenhagen. Sounds great. Let's go. Susan, back with VMworld TV. I'm here with Irish Spring. Yes, that really is his name. Irish, tell me a little bit about the labs. What's different here than it was in San Francisco? Well, we're, uh, we're actually uh, not using any on-site data centers, and we have about half the seats that we had from, uh, we have 240 seats here, so a little bit different size. Are there, so the data centers are not here? Yeah, absolutely. We actually have them uh, over, over across the Atlantic in the United States, in Virginia and Florida. Wow, so what's the latency like? Are we having bandwidth issues? No, actually uh, we're using the new PCOIP, PCOIP interface, so it's been really well uh, well received from the customers. It's, it's, it's working well. So the end user experience has been positive? Absolutely, and it was a little surprising. I honestly thought that we might have some degradation going all the way across the Atlantic, but we didn't. Right, and so are we able to keep up with the demand with the number of labs that you guys are doing, or is it much lower here? Well, actually, we uh, we actually opened the labs for a longer period of time, and we were surprised that we did have folks coming in at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we've been full all the way to 6. Yeah, it's pretty early in the morning now, and it seems pretty packed already, it, and I don't see anybody screaming and yelling on the floor that they're not getting access to their labs, so everything seems like it's running pretty smoothly. Absolutely. We're actually blowing the numbers a little higher than we thought we would. Uh, we had 2,200 yesterday, which is or a total of 2,200 yesterday, which was uh, very good towards our goal. So I heard you guys opened the labs a day earlier here. Yeah, it was it was pretty impressive. But why don't I get our principal architect to talk about it? Hey, hey, Dan, could you come over? Mr. Anderson. Hi, Susan. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Excellent. Tell me why you guys opened the labs a day earlier over here. Well, uh, the efficiencies of running it from the cloud are basically such that we can actually just unplug everything from when we were in Moscone and, and throw a few uh, throw a few boxes together and bring them over here and plug everything back in and we're back Great. online. Great, so you, you packed everything up, put it in a, a rack and shipped it here and turned it on? No. All of the stuff that we had that was sitting in Terramark and Verizon stays in Terramark and Verizon right. and we just plug everything back in the way it was when we were in Moscone. Now we're just doing it from Copenhagen. But you left it running and it just works. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just leave it alone. It Just works. Just leave it alone. You, know, you don't have to touch it. You don't have All right. To... As much as I like to believe you, I'm actually going to go talk to some of the people taking the labs and Absolutely. see what they think. Absolutely. Yeah, help yourself. All right. Let's go check it out. So did you know that the labs are actually being hosted in the U.S.? Uh, I didn't know, actually. And so how's the experience been for you? Very good this morning, yeah. Have you noticed any latency issues? Is it slow? Uh, no, no matter when I run them, they seem to fire pretty quick. Hey, I recognize you from yesterday. Are they? How are you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, so, first time taking a lab? Yeah, it is. And uh, were you aware they're actually hosted on the other side of the Atlantic? No, I wasn't until I arrived here and they told me. Okay. Uh, any uh, feedback? I mean, what's the any latency issues? What's it like? The experience? It's actually fantastic. Um, there's no latency. Um, the lab's been really good doing the management performance lab and uh, going strong. What do you think this year? Oh, it's perfect. Um, they increased in in, um, in in a matter of how many they they provided, and uh, this is really good. And um, the interaction, especially, is perfect. Hi, where are you visiting us from? Uh, I'm from Australia. Oh, that's a long ways away. It is a long way away, yes. And uh, first time at VMworld? Uh, first time at VMworld, yes. And what's your first impression of the labs? Uh, they're fantastic. They're, um, they're, they're quite responsive, uh, quite in-depth, um, and you, you've got a lot of variety to choose from. So you can come in here, spend a lot of time in here. In fact, I'm going to spend more time in here than I am out on the floor uh, looking around because there's so much to do and see. So it's, uh, they're great, yeah. What's your experience so far? Uh, awesome. Um, busy doing the VMware View 4.5 stuff. It's great. Uh, I'm a Citrix man. I sell Citrix and I'm really blown away by the ease of use. Were you aware that um, the labs are all hosted across the Atlantic on the East Coast? Yeah, it's really great. Um, it just shows that um, the cloud compute computing is here and it's here to stay. If you could explain your user experience in one word. Uh, v fantastic. <laughs> 